Welcome to another Affinity Photo tutorial. Today we're going to be creating a realistic base shadow. So we're going to be taking just a transparent PNG, something like this apple, and turning it into this. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. We'll start off with a new document and we'll just go 1920 by 1080. Zoom out a little bit here. Let's go ahead and put in a blank pixel layer and we'll just create a really quick gradient background. And let's go from like a light blue to a dark blue. Okay, that looks pretty good right there. So now what we need to do is we need to bring in our whatever we're going to be casting a shadow with. So let's go ahead and use that same apple and we'll just go ahead and place that. We'll drag it out nice and big so we can see what we're doing. We'll just put that in the center of the document there. And let's go ahead and rasterize and trim that layer. So the very first thing we're going to do is just put in a basic base shadow here. So we're going to create a blank pixel layer underneath our subject. And we're going to grab our brush tool. And let's make sure our flow is set to 100 and our hardness is set to 0 and that we're painting with black. And then we're just going to come right about here. And we're just going to pop this maybe twice like that. I'm going to select the Move tool, and by holding down Command and Option and grabbing one of these side handles here, we can uniformly stretch that out to create our base shadow. So if we're looking at that, that doesn't look too, too bad, but in the real world situation with this highlight here, meaning the light is up and off to the left a bit, uh, the bottom of the apple wouldn't be quite as bright as the top. So let's try to make that a little more realistic. So to do that, let's come up to the Apple layer and we're going to come to our adjustments and we're going to add in a levels adjustment layer. And we're going to drag that directly onto the Apple so it only affects the Apple portion of this. And what we're going to do is we're going to darken this up by dragging down the output white level. So we're going to drag that down probably around 50% or so, right about there. Okay, now you're looking at this going, well, that's awfully dark. How are we going to clean this up? So let's expand our Apple layer so that we can see our level adjustment layer. And on this level adjustment layer, we're going to add a mask, but we're going to add an inverted mask. So to do that, we're going to hold Command and the letter I. And so what that does is it put an inverted mask layer on there. So you'll see up here the little thumbnail is all black instead of all white, which means now if we paint with white, it will reveal what's underneath being the level adjustment, and if we paint with black, it will hide it. So to do this, let's go ahead and now with that layer and that mask selected, let's go to the gradient tool, and we're going to be going from white to black there. So again, white reveals, black conceals. Let's start here right at the very bottom of the apple and just drag up. And as you can see, we're starting to reveal that darker layer underneath. And then by grabbing the slider, we can make it darker or lighter. So I'm going to drag it up a little bit here so it just makes it a little, little more pronounced there at the bottom. Okay, so now we're looking at that and going, well, that looks good, but it's, you know, the, the apple is a sphere and this is giving us kind of a straight line across the middle there. So still on the mask layer, let's grab our brush tool. And this time we're going to make sure we're painting with black instead of white because black conceals and we want to conceal some of this. So let's turn our flow down a bit on this one. Let's turn it down to about 40% to start with. Make sure our hardness is at zero. And then we can start kind of shaping this shadow a little bit here. And again, if we go too far, we can just reverse the colors. But by doing that, we've created this darker layer at the bottom. So this is what we started with. And then we added in our base shadow. And then we sold the effect with the mass level adjustment. This is a real easy one, but it definitely adds more realism to your object when you're bringing in uh, a separate object into a scene. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please hit the like button or think about subscribing to my channel. And until next time, peace. Talk to you later. Bye.